Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install gobo lights, ghost shadow lights, logo lights, or um, customized puddle lights. <clears throat> so today, this is what I've got here today. It's the uh, the ghost shadow light for the Chrysler 300. That's what the box looks like. Um, so to install these, all you'll need is a simple tools around the house that you might have. So you'll have like a um, battery drill, the lights obviously, a pair of scissors, some electrical tape, um, a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver, also a marker. Um, so when you get the box, show you guys really quick, it comes with the two lights and a drill bit. <clears throat> That's the drill bit. And of course the lights. And let's go outside and start installing these. Hey everybody, all right, we're back, we're outside and we're ready to work on the uh, the Chrysler 300 um, modified puddle lights. So before we begin, we need to take out, take out some screws that are in the door. To point out which screws you'll need to take out, you'll need to take out this one, that one. I cracked it uh, doing it the first time on the passenger door. Um, you'll see there's a screw right there another one right there and then if you look going up right here there's one there's another one right here and there's one more you'll need to take out which is this one under there so to get that little door off you'll just take your flathead screwdriver and you're gonna push up and then down and it should open just like that and there's another screw in there you'll need to take out um, so to get these ones off what you're gonna have to do I'll put this one. So to take off those ones on the side, you're going to need to take your flathead screwdriver again. And you're going to have to put the tip of it in the middle. You'll see there's a little button there. Just hold it in place and give it a little tap. Just so that the button pushes inwards. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take the flathead again and use the corner of it to pry off the button part, like that. Now if it doesn't come off easy, um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to like kind of maneuver around it so it's all even so you don't crack it like the one I did under there. So once you get all those off, you'll be able to lift the panel door a little bit and um, I'll get back to you guys as soon as, I'm take, I've, as soon as I've taken them all off just to show you. All right, now that your door panel should be loose like this without it falling off, you're going to want to put your fingers into the top part over here and you're going to press down on the pins that hold this light in place so your light should pop out just like that. Next, what, you wanna, what you're going to want to do is you want to maneuver the light outwards so that it can go into the door panel and that you'll have access to it outside of the door panel when you pull it through the crack. Try different angles because uh, there's a certain angle that works better than others on there. So there we go. So now my light's in my door panel. I'm going to bring it outside right here. Just like this. So what you want to do is detach this light. So you're going to see there's a little pin right here. You want to press on that and pull the light out. Sorry about the background noise, my neighbor is doing renovations. So just like that. So now that your light is out, you're going to want to see there's going to be two wires up here. It's going to be a black wire and a yellow wire. You're going to connect the black wire with the black wire on the light and the yellow wire with the red, red one on your uh, your light, on the customized light, puddle lights. So next, what you want to do is you're going to want to connect. I'm sorry, no, you're going to want to see where you want to drill your hole. So some people might want the hole farther out on the door frame to give it uh, so more people can see it uh, wider perspective or some people want it closer inside. It's really up to you. Where I'm going to place it is right in front of the middle screw in the door because I think that's where it looks really good. So that way you can see the ground and other people see it and it's nice like that. So that's what your marker is for. So you're going to take your marker if I can find it. And you're gonna to wanna to put a, you're gonna to wanna to draw a little point 
just so you know where you're going to mark it. So you don't want to mark it too close to the door frame because it is a projecting light. And as we know, projecting lights project in a triangle kind of um, picture. So if you project it too close to the door, half of your circle on the light itself will hit the door and the other light will be, and the other one will be on the ground. So that's what I did on my passenger side and I messed up. So you don't really see the top of the circle from the light. So you want to put it a little farther out. So I'm going to put mine in the back. I'm going to make sure that you have enough room because your light is about an inch long. So if you put it, let's say, right under the speaker, there's no way that you're going to be able to fit your light there because the speaker's in the way. And if you put it in um, the spot where your, uh, your stock light is, there's also a little panel up there where it will hit it. So that's why you should go out on the actual door frame itself. If you want, you can put it in the same spot as me, right in front of the middle screw and a little farther out so that your light does shine completely and you don't lose any of it. So I'm going to put it right about there. So now that you have where you want your light to be, you're going to take your drill with your drill bit and connect them. I already did that. <clears throat> You're gonna start drilling. This is the hard part. It's probably easier to do if your door panel is completely off, but at the same time, then you have to put it all back together and whatnot. So as long as you have the arm power to put it through the door, you should be good. So here we go. Start off slow if you want. If you want to see what the hole looks like, you can just back it out of there. So that's your first impression of what it's going to look like. You can run your fingers through the back to see if you'll have enough room and the light's going to look good on it. So you're going to proceed to make the complete hole in it. This is where you need the more arm strength. Don't go too fast. You don't want to drill it completely through and then hit something else on the door panel itself, so just give it an even force and keep on going harder and harder with it. There we go. Now if you want, it's going to be easier if you disconnect the actual bit piece, just like this, and then you can pull out the drill bit on the other side from the door panel. So there we go, now you have your hole for your light. And you can see there's some foam in there, or um, fabric. So you want to put the light uh, as you wish, either in front of it or in back of it, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we're going to take your light and the wires. Now this is the part where the uh, electrical tape comes in. You're going to take your electrical tape and you're going to cut off a piece, either with scissors or just rip it off with your hand. I'm going to rip it off with my hands because it's going to be easier like that. Faster too. Take your exposed wire and for this part you can put your lights on in the car so you can see when your car itself will be on when the lights are going to be on, if it's going to work when you plug it in. Alright, now that you have your exposed wire and your hole made, you're going to want to take your light and you're going to want to feed the wire through the hole going into the car's, the car's door panel. Just like this, and you're going to put the, the light right through it. There we go, just like so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to see and make sure that the light is working again before you finish up. So the black on black and the yellow on red. There you go. 
And as you can see, the light is working in place where it's supposed to be. So now to finish up, you're gonna keep your wires in there. This is where your electrical tape comes into play. So just like that. Now you're gonna take your tape, and use your scissors, or you can just rip it off if you want. It's really up to you, as long as the tape stays there on the wires. Alright, so we're going to fasten these wires down, just like this, and I'm going to give it another piece of tape to wrap around it, just in case. These don't have to be extremely long pieces of tape, just enough so that it keeps it all there. Alright, now at this point you want to keep your lights on to make sure that your light is going to be working at all times when you put everything back in. So you're going to want to scoop the light, the exposed wires, back into your door panel. Just like that. As you can see, my light is still working, which is a good sign. Next, you can take your light that you um, took off before, and you can just pop it back in place from the outside. So you put the back in first, and then the front, just push it up, and you'll hear a snap, and that means it's in place. Now that your light is finally installed, you're going to want to make sure you have enough room between the light and the door panel itself. So you're going to want to see that it's about 1-2 to two centimeters, or about the width of my pinky. Having this distance will not make the light hit the door panel inside of the car. Alright, now to finish up your light installation, you want to take this piece, and um, the other bit, you're going to place that over there. And you want to take the bit and place it inside and then push down on that until you hear it pop. That means that it's in place and that it opened up and it's, it's secure. And as for the rest, well, you do the exact same thing. And as for the screws, you just screw them back in and your car is good to go. Enjoy.